What's up guys, we are here with more SPL Lysergic vs Male If I'm not mistaken, there's the mod join I don't know what this stupid old name is, I'm not gonna pronounce it <laughs> Lysergic Rain. Wait, he has a Porygon too? He's trying to be Freestyler King Nice Gengar Um he does have a Tapu Fini to check for Moses, so he doesn't have to be Scarf Gengar. And he's maybe Specs Gengar, he just Oko did. I'm not sure. I mean, probably any variant of Gengar kills Farmosa. He might have been Scarf and it could have been Scarf Farmosa, I don't know why he Ice Beamed there. I mean, that's his best move to hit the Gengar. I'm a bit confused. I mean, he. The Sergic didn't have a switch into Gengar, I guess, yeah. And bullet, he bullet punched it there, I'm not running the risk of potential speed. Tie and... Lando comes out, gets off rocks. I'm wondering if this Pelipper would have done enough speed for the fans of Landers. I think it would have to run quite a, a decent amount of speed, like... Uh, like, kind of, kind of a lot of speed. So, you don't want to risk this though if you're um, male, so you probably just... Mm, you go um, Tepofini or you go um, Porygon. You can also go Cheetah if you like want to change the weather, but that's a bit risky on the potential Skull that could burn you. There's no, nah, there's no way the Surgic Skulls when he has a Tepofini with Misty Terrain that just eats gold and doesn't care and doesn't get burned. Nah, there's no way. I'm pretty sure it's you turning here. Yeah, he makes that turns up play that I was thinking about. If this is banded, um, okay, he's not staying. In. Uh, Seismitoot could potentially have knockoff to annoy the Porygon a lot. Um, also sand, sand plus Porygon is weird because oh my god, he's offensive Seismitoot life or blown back. <laughs> he tried to discharge. Lysergic the king, that man went for life of focus blood. What? Hey, watch the sludge wave. This is gonna be life of sludge wave hydro pump. Um, he might just pivot around on a sludge wave, but dang, that focus pushed a lot. Like, I was thinking about the offensive side method. Oh, he has elf power or sludge wave. Okay, I was thinking like. Defensive Seismoth could run knockoff, but yeah, it's a rain team. This thing obviously gets swift swim. I don't know what I was thinking. It could obviously be offensive. Uh, the Pelipper looks to be bulky. As that's pro probably Scarf Chomp or Z move. That did absolutely nothing. So we see a double into Seismitude. Um, Nice play by Mail there. Doubling out in the tar, getting rid of the rain. Or just switching out the tar. I don't know if he doubled. Okay, that crunch just picks off oh, that that I don't know, didn't do that much. I mean that's just Tita's natural bogan with the sand, I don't know if that's I think that's offensive tar, like He doesn't have sand rush drill, so it's definitely not bulky tar. He's uh, probably Rocks Landerous. Oh yeah, he revealed that he's Rocks Landerous. What am I talking about? Um I'm really sorry guys. Um I'm like thirty hours awake and um one hour ago was like so close to falling asleep, but I am staying up. I am not giving up. I will not record as many games as usually. I will leave out some DPP, some black and white, and some Ubers. But I will catch every sun and moon and every hours game that I see. I promise. I mean, if I fall asleep, or if I cannot concentrate anymore, I will stop. But yeah, let me try to concentrate. So, I don't know why you went land with. The Porygon was so low, I didn't think Porygon would would have done much, I would have just sacked the Porygon there. It's nice to get some helmet chip on this, but now he doesn't have a switch in the Ice Punch. I guess he could go Tapu Fini now. He can go Tapu Fini now, yeah. So he, he saves the Porygon as far, the, which might be nice for later on when the Kingdra comes out. Oh, how else is the Tepofini? Yeah, Tepofini doesn't want to switch hard and the King Nerus rocks up. 
at the percentage it's at. Okay, stay stayed in predicting the tap of Finida potentially. Um he didn't go for ice punch. That was like an aggressive play but let's surge it didn't work out. So all of a sudden it's not looking good for him. HPS Coco, okay. Oh uh, probably like either that plate or wise glasses is what I see on tap coco sometimes if it's not life up or specs. Not I don't like specs at all. Like it's a really fun set but with all the ground types running around you and you have to like lock or just in general being locked into move is not that good with Tapu Coco. You wanna be um have grass not like what am I trying to say here? Like you wanna be able to you turn out on stuff like a pardon and if you like if they have a ferrothon and a pardon if you click U-turn and they have a Ferrothon, you take chip damage, which is not optimal. If you vote switch, they go go power and it doesn't work. You have to like predict really um, decently well with Specs Coco. I just don't like that set. Like some people might just uh, run T Bolt, a hidden power, dazzling gleam, or Grass Knot, and not even run Volt Switch and just run U-turn or not run U-turn and just run Volt Switch. But yeah. So this is Scarf Chomp, the way he played this, the way he brings this out, and he also showed Rox Landris. I'm not gonna make a mistake again, okay. So... You could potentially go Pelipper. The only thing that kills this is uh, Earthquake. I don't think uh, Stone Age would kill, no way. Like, Tabu Coco has a decent bulk, like, no way. Our soul gazer says you can. Our lefty says you can roost on EQ. So what? What is he trying to say? Is uh, you go the surgical goes Palapa here, and if you earthquakes, you can roost on a Tita switch. But isn't that bad? Because what do you switch into Tita then? Also, if he doubles into Tita here on a Palapa. Actually, doubling the Tita? No, probably not the play doubling the Tita. If you predict the Pelipper, you can just go for like Dragon Claw Stone Edge, which I would not recommend because there's a threat in front of you. Yeah, Lysergic is like thinking, is like thinking hard here. Um, NJMP got subbed in for Kyle Cole. Yeah, he makes that play. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can get behind that play because that was a Coco in front of you. You don't just want to like play around. Okay, Tita is super low. Yeah, he makes that Roost play. Lefty was talking about that in the chat. I don't know if that counts as ghosting. Lefty, um, NJP got subbed in for Kyle Which is interesting, but I have no idea about doubles and I'm too tired. And oh my god, I just forgot to close my Photoshop. Like I just realized, I hope, I hope this didn't mess up my recording. I'm gonna be so mad if this messed up my recording. Good God, let me close my Photoshop real quick. I was making the GTM with this Rory um, thumbnail, and I forgot when I use OBS, I could not run. I cannot run too many programs, or my recording gets messed up. Oh my God, I'm so scared. If my if I lose the entire recording, oh my God, I'm gonna be so mad. Cause I was like glad that I caught this from the beginning. Yeah, this is why you don't make something. It's like on SPL Sundays, you just record every game and use OBS. You cannot afford to make something. Else. In I wanted to make a something in between because I thought the next game wasn't 40 minutes. I didn't know this game would just pop up. So he switched the Pelipper X to Coco. Um, I assume that's bad tar. Porygon 2 but the trace gets sacked. No reason to risk Kaido miss his life up okay. Live up is like a decent set because you are not get you don't get locked into a specific move. You wanna be able to switch up moves basically. That could not matter and Tabofini just wins this for male. I, love Fe uh, I mean, Fini should love this. Like, it's not specs and it's only a surf. I mean, he could have. Yeah, probably a side bomb too. Yeah, yeah, side bomb he misses. Um, so I think he would have had to crit. He would have had to crit there. Um, don't think he could have won that without a crit. 
that might have killed them with a crit, maybe not even that. Ah, no, no, crit probably would have killed. Let me, let, me, let me see what team they were on and everything. Uh, I'm actually not gonna update the score anymore because I will upload some Uber and DBP matches um, that have been played before this. So I don't want to spoil those um, by scrolling through this. But I want to get the um, Sun Moon Aurora's games out first. They are more interesting. But the thing is, yeah, today's Sunday and some people are watching the GBA. I don't know if you know the GBA. You probably know the Global Battle Association, most of you. So yeah, that like some people might not watch my videos on Sunday. So maybe I shouldn't upload so much today. Keep the content for the rest of the week. Um, I forgot was Team Lysergic. I think he's on the Sharks. He's not. Okay, what team is he on? Oh, Ricardo was PDCs later on. I have to catch that game. That's so funny, dude. I have to record that. Axel 10 was Jimmy. Porsche was Adam. Yeah, Mel vs. Lysergic is there. Oh, it's 5-5 five and five now. The class is trying to get the first win. Hmm. Wow, this is a close series. So that's interesting. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope my recording program didn't mess up. And peace out, friends.